Hello there. I've got another short video for you and it's about a part of the forest called the Bishop of Winchester's Purlieu. Now the purpose of uh, my little short video is just to show you how the forest uh, holds the history and the marks of history on its surface because it's not an area that's uh, ploughed or changed very much over time. Uh, everything that happens to the forest, the marks are left there. And this little video is just to demonstrate within a few hundred yards, you can see a lot of history. If, you've, uh, if you're prepared to look around and investigate. Uh, so I hope you find this interesting. Now to start with, I'm going to show you uh, uh, two maps. The first one's an Ordnance Survey map of the, of the whole area. And then I've just taken a small section of that area uh, and I've reproduced a, a LIDAR map, which I'll explain to you. It's a, a form of mapping. It's, a, it's done with from an aeroplane and it's, it's very accurate for uh, defining very small details on the forest very clearly. And um, you'll see from this mapping that uh, there are features which show up very clearly. Now this Ordnance Survey map shows the Bishop's Dyke and the area in with the red square around it is the area I'm going to show in uh, a LIDAR. Now this is the bank and I'm just walking on top of it here. Uh, there's a lot of quite uh, deep heather here so it is obscured to some extent uh, but the the bank is uh, four and a half miles round and it encloses an area uh, of approximately 500 acres. So this was the deer park within the deer park. It was said at the time that uh, the then bishop was very keen on his hunting. Now a purlieu means an area which is being taken out of the forest. See the new forest uh, was under forest law and around about 1200 the Bishop of Winchester was given an area of, of forest uh, and, he, and it was surrounded by a bank and there would have been uh, a, a high fence all the way around it of palings and it was like a deer park within a deer park but that deer park obviously belonged to the Bishop of Winchester and it was obviously for his pleasure. Now this is the section of the uh, LIDAR map and if we work from left to right first of all we've got a drainage channel dug by the Forestry Commission in 1960 uh, and then we've got a four and a half thousand year old tumulus uh, then we've got various bomb craters from 1940 there's one really nice one a uh, big one uh, and then we've got the Bishop of Winchester's uh, Deer Park 1213 and then finally the railway built in 1857. All of these marks are still there and they show so clearly on this LIDAR map. Now because the uh, tumulus on this section is rather eroded I thought I'd show you another part of the forest and there is two tumulus, I'm making tumuli, uh, and you can see how clear they are and when you think that those were made four and a half thousand years ago and they are so clear uh, this is the beauty of the lidar map you can discover a great more about the forest you can even see the little depressions in the tops where they were excavated by the victorians now this is the uh, bomb crater from 1940 it's where the germans were trying to blow up the railway lines of the railway station and there's quite a lot of smaller holes nearby. I've sent Mary down there knowing that the bomb has exploded so I think she will be quite safe. It does give you an idea how big this crater is. Uh, it's uh, in perfect condition. Now this is uh, another part of the bank. It's right in the south of the Bishop of Winchester's Purlieu. Uh, I find it an interesting area and I could do another video on some of the other features but anyway I hope you've enjoyed this uh, little video 
and uh, if you have enjoyed it uh, please click a like if you'd like to know more about lidar mapping then i would go on the new forest national park website where you could learn a lot more anyway goodbye for now till next time